Well, it's tax day and Republicans are banking on the massive middle class tax cuts to keep control of the House in November. A new study finding 32 percent of all advertising on House and Senate races since January have mentioned taxes up from 13 percent two years ago. Philip Sutz is a Republican strategist and the founder and CEO of Go Big Media and Jammu Green is a Democratic strategist and a Fox News contributor. Thanks for joining me today. Phil, I'll start with you. If you're a Republican running for office this year, of course, you've got some challenges, but really, I can't think of a better message that the president and the leadership could have given the members of Congress to run on than these tax cuts. I agree. And if you look at some of the polling, even some of the skewed Democratic polling, uh, the, tax cuts is re the tax cuts are resonating, and Trump, in one of the recent polls, was up seven in handling the economy. Mm -hmm. There's sort of the unforeseen circumstances, like the Mueller investigation and what comes of that, and so that's sort of the elephant in the room. But overall, it's really good. But I would have a warning for Republicans here. If you decide to put advertisements up this election cycle with Republican congressmen and women talking about the tax cut, that is a losing strategy. Mm. And they need to find voters in their districts that have been positively impacted by it so that they tell their story. Otherwise, it'll be a bloodbath. All right. Well, we're giving uh, communications advice. Good advice. Um, <laughs> now, Jamu, I want to ask you, uh, how do Democrats plan to counter this? The, uh, the economy is good. And I have another poll here from NBC Wall Street Journal that 35 percent of people believe that Republicans are better equipped to handle the economy than Democrats. Um, what, what, is a Demo what is a Democrat to do in this situation heading into the midterm to sort of counter this? Well, Dana, I think there are other numbers out there that show that this tax bill specifically is not polling well. Where Republicans may have seen a bump, the tax bill itself is not polling well. But look, it makes sense for Republicans to, to run with this. It's the only major piece of legislation they were able to pass when they control the White House, the Senate, and Congress. And this is the only period of time before Americans get really punched in the gut mm -hmm. with cuts to programs that are really important to them, Social Security, Medicare, before mm -hmm. this impending trade war really impacts middle class Americans. And the bottom line, before they realize that individual taxes are going to increase while mm -hmm. corporations are going to continue to feel the, the weight of this tax bill. 80% mm -hmm. of the impact of this tax bill going to corporations, going to yeah, the wealthiest among us. Yeah, I saw that on the, you know, the front page of the USA Today uh, yesterday talking, uh, talking about that. Well, that's the both sides of that. But